best of nine, first to five. There's the old veteran, the wily old fellow, Cliff Wilson, there on the right-hand side. My goodness, he loves his game of snooker. And uh, in his heyday, I can tell you, he was as fast as White and as fast as Higgins. And he got this far by beating Eddie Charlton, his old rival in the third round, 5-4, the world senior champion. So it's Jimmy White to break off, the Englishman to break off, the Scottish referee, a Welsh opponent, and a very English commentator, Mr Ted Lowe. Good afternoon, Ted. Good afternoon, David. I think we have to imagine that the Hexham Theatre is a potting shed this afternoon because we've got the chairman and managing director of the potting business here. There's the managing director. struggled. Sixteen. Sixteen. Bit awkward queuing there. We can expect some exciting parts, I'm sure, in this match. As David Vine said, the best of nine, so it's the first one to five that's through. What a surprise. Hey, Always difficult, of course, the start of these matches. One. To the table. The atmosphere. Everything quite strange. With me this afternoon on this uh, high flying match is Bayer, Billiard Star, in fact, and colleague Ray Edmonds, right there. Jimmy in a bit of a problem there, although one would have thought he might have found something. Yes, Ted, I think Cliff was a little lucky not to have left Jimmy a very easy starter. But uh, both players have got away rather with mistakes so far, so... Mind you, the nature of these two players, Ted, would lend itself to that anyway.
one. One, wait. Well, as you saw, the cue ball stopping just a little short there. Another three inches would have made all the difference. Cliff's got to be a bit careful this time. Then he'd like to finish uh, somewhere near the two reds to the left of the bottom cushion here. He's going to have to use the spider take it off the ball cushion side cushion and try and drop on one of those two reds but uh, very difficult to judge it's not going to reach oh four you wait and here's an opportunity One. Seven. Making sure that pink is in line with the brown, blue and black. Eight. Thirteen. Twenty. Twenty one. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Well, he's gone astray this time. Played to kiss the red to the right of the pink. To hold the cue ball now much more difficult with the rest. Thirty-seven. To most players, Ted. He is an absolute wizard, Ray, isn't he, with the rest? That has not quite worked That's out it. as Jimmy wanted it. 
39 points ahead at the moment. Fifty-one. That's the one that matters, is break. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. And now we can sit back and watch him clear the table. Sixty-five. Sixty-six. Seventy-three. Cliff, just watch his arm. He doesn't mind. Oh, I say. <laughs> oh. And using the rest, too. So... A beautiful break, then, of uh, 73 by Jimmy. Obviously gives him the first frame. But, uh, Cliff obviously wanted to get his cue arm working. He's going to have a go at these colours. Oh, another oh. one. Four. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see if the Welshman can take the six colours. Two. Last year he was the world's seniors champion, Cliff Wilson. Terrific character. Five. Great entertainer. Nine. Nine, Cliff Wilson. So finally, Cliff Wilson then says he's had enough of that first frame, the first of nine, as we mentioned earlier. But uh, there we saw some of the potting ability of this young man, Jimmy White. He really is a delightful cumin to watch. And Ray, uh, whilst they did take a short while to get into this dry, Jimmy, once he got the opportunity, showed us exactly what he can do. Yes, Ted looks in extremely good form and. Uh I'm sure Jimmy now has put out the memory of the world final. That's out of his mind, certainly, until he gets to Sheffield again. And he's playing pretty well. I mean, Cliff Wilson is the kind of player that Jimmy would enjoy playing against because it's open, he gets on with the game, and uh, Jimmy's going to get plenty of chances. But he mustn't take Cliff too easy, you know, Ted. No, I'd agree with that. This man, uh, Cliff Wilson, is an extraordinary potter, and he can upset any apple card. Been playing a long time now, turned professional way in back in the 70s. And that's a good break. He's got the cue ball right underneath the bolt cushion.
Fun. his mind to it. Eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Blue and pink not available, so Cliff having to go down for the blue. Perhaps go into the little cluster this time. And wanted a fuller contact there just to hold the cue ball. Just run rather 19. safe. Unless, of course, he pulls out a good pot to the middle. Oh, he's taking the one to the left corner. Nineteen, Cliff Wilson. That was not an easy shot at all. It was a very acute angle into that centre pocket. One. Well, now, with a bit of luck, if Cliff can knock the black in, he'll uh, move the pink and the couple of reds surrounding the black spot. Eight. Nine. The opposition never worries Cliff Wilson. He just loves to play the game of snooker. Plays his own way. Fifteen. Sixteen. Lost a little bit of weight recently as Cliff. He was qualifying for the World Championship and had to be rushed to hospital. But he's fit as a flea now, as you can see. 20. Yes, now with a bit of a dilemma, does he try and continue the break, taking uh, a fairly difficult brown? I don't think the blue will go past the yellow to the corner. Can't get to the pink. So it'll go against the grain, but Cliff playing safe. Doesn't like to do that Brandon, unless he's forced.
Oh, really flu one. <laughs> a smile on his face. There's a lovely uh, homely touch for all you mums and dads at home, I see. Behind this match, both these men are happily what? married with families of four children. Jimmy's uh, family are quite young, of course. Whereas Cliffs are now grown up. Eight. Another example there of how just a couple of inches of pace makes the game that much more complicated. Would have been an easy blue to come for the reds. As it is, a more difficult brown, which will bring the cue ball down for position. It's unlucky, Ray, really. 15. So, Jimmy White going for safety. 13, Jimmy White. Twenty six points separating them at the moment. That's just made for a left handed player. One. Certainly the cue ball didn't seem to take the path that Jimmy expected it to do, so perhaps got a slight kick. Luke. Six. Six, Jimmy White. Well, Jimmy's got in about three times in this frame and hasn't Fine. finished in ideal position, but this time couldn't be a deal better than this. Six. Tried to kiss that red out of the way. He has the say oh. here over the centre pocket. Thirteen. 
18. Nineteen. Twenty-six. Six points ahead now. Twenty-seven. Yes, didn't go quite far enough on the blue, but should be all right to drop behind the yellow. Thirty-two. Thirty-four. So the green and brown will be sufficient. Thirty-seven. My word, that one went in by the side door. Forty-one. One, Jimmy White. Yes, the right break at the right moment. Cliff wanting one snooker now. Jimmy. <laughs> Pure exhibition, but fantastic humanship. This final black then. And there he goes. And so Jimmy White takes the first two of our nine frames. You're watching this match between Jimmy White and Cliff Wilson live here this afternoon. And as you probably know, we're sharing our program with the golf from St Andrews. Uh, if you're expecting to see golf, the start has been delayed due to heavy overnight frost. And in fact, the first golf will be here this afternoon at about 3.15. Remember, both semi-finals and the <coughs> final. Just keeping you in touch with what's happening at the snooker. 2-0 with Jimmy White. And then in the other match, we've got Terry Griffiths playing Mike Hallett. And uh, Terry Griffiths is taking the opening frame. And... Uh, Nothing uh, sparkling about it at the moment. And Mike Hallett, of course, desperately needs to do well here. He's already been knocked out of this year's World Championship. Hasn't uh, managed to reach the crucible stages. And uh, having a bit of a bad time. He's dropping down the order a bit. Dropped to number uh, 17 in the rankings. Knocked out of the top 16 last season. So that's the situation in that one. We're back now with our live match, our feature match. Jimmy White and Cliff Wilson. Jimmy breaking off for frame three, leading two frames to nil. First to five, the best of nine. Here's Ted. Yes, thank you, David. And a good break by Jimmy. He's got the cue ball down there with that bolt cushion. One. Eight. Well, there is one red at the back of the cluster that'll go to the right corner, but cue ball's going to knock the rest of the reds all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff Wilson always ready with a gag. Suggests that that was a good safety shot from Jimmy. Let's see what he can do. Fun. <laughs> he got himself in trouble to start with. Yeah. 
thought for Cliff Wilson. So Jimmy comes back to the table. He split them up, missed his first part, but this is what he was after. One. Nine. Eleven. Well, it was harder for Jimmy to put the cue ball there and not get good position than to finish nicely on a red. He still got one to the uh, left corner, but even a skillful player as Jimmy with the rest doesn't always find them easy. 11, give me No, that was a bit surprising, Ray, wasn't it? Yes, Kewin was uh, a little bit hampered, Ted, and uh, I think he was probably still disgusted with the previous shot and got down and played it rather quickly. But when Cliff's in this form, you know, Jimmy's going to get a lot of chances. Cliff going for everything, and uh, unless they're going in, his opponent's going to have a bit of a field day. One. Yellow. Three. quite extraordinary, Ray, that on occasions when the balls are all over the table, it's more difficult to get a break than when they're tied out. Oh. Yes, the point is, Ted, is accuracy is required, and uh, on a new cloth like this, it's just that little bit of extra pace. Takes the cue ball into awkward positions, but now Jimmy's in a one position. Eleven. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-eight. So the red and the pink should just about win the frame for Jimmy. Thirty-nine. But uh, you may get a few more than that. He seems to be enjoying it. Fifty 
one. That's the second time that Jimmy's tried Nine. to shift that difficult red there. He missed it each time. Okay. Sixty-six. Absolutely delightful. Sixty-seven. Seventy-four. Seventy-six. Five more colors for a century. Seventy-nine. <coughs> Eighty-three. Ninety-four. Well, well, what can one say? The applause says it all. Absolutely fabulous. Queuing, potting, and everything else that Jimmy White stands for. A beautiful break of 101. And he's now leading three frames to nil. Ray, I don't know, really. Uh, you can't ask for much more than that from the whirlwind, can you? Well, no, we run out of superlatives when we're talking about this young man because uh, he really entertains the crowd. He makes it extremely difficult for his opponents because... It's he punishes them so heavily for errors. And uh, playing against Cliff, it, it's it's meat and drink for the man because he gets Cliff plays a very open game, very aggressive, and Jimmy just is going to sit there and he's going to knock 60 or 70 off every time. Fourth frame, Cliff Wilson to break. And, of course, the beauty of the match is that Cliff Wilson, breaking off, doesn't mind a bit. He just thoroughly enjoys watching it as much as he does playing it particularly when his opponent is the whirlwind. <coughs> One. This is certainly the best chance Four. that Cliff Wilson's had so far with Five. black and pink available and a few open reds. And he's quite capable of knocking in a big break if uh, things go well. And it won't take long. Well, 13. Twenty. Twenty-one. OK, 
can just get through to uh, the red to the left of the pack, 26. the corner. 27. I think he's just a bit too straight this time, really. Yes, yeah, a little unfortunate there, Ted. Just uh, two inches either way, and uh, he would have been able to disturb the Reds. He might just play for a fluke 24. this time. Four for Fulton. <laughs> Four to be white. Very unlucky, really. He went for an extraordinary red, got it, and then the cue ball bolted down the middle pocket like a rabbit down his hole. Yes, I can't think of another player in the game other than perhaps his opponent who would have even looked at that red, Ted. Never mind how to go at it. Fantabulous. <laughs> yes, for years, Ted, he's been telling me his eyes have gone. And when he knocks balls in like that, I don't think it's his eyes that's uh, a problem. Marvellous shot. Bye. Six. Purely a right-eyed uh, sighter is Cliff. Just uses that right eye of his. Thank you. <laughs> Thirteen. Loves to get the audience involved. Fourteen. Ninety. That puts 20. him fifty points in front. Oh. Twenty for Paulson. And he knows as he walked back, walks back to that chair, that Jimmy could clean up and pinch the frame. One. Eight. Nine. Jimmy again asking for the cue ball to be cleaned. Sixteen. Seventeen. As you said a few moments ago, Ted, uh, Jimmy could well clear up from this, and certainly it would be something of a surprise if he didn't. Couldn't really place the balls 22. in a much better position. Within 22 points now. 29. 30. All the 
colors on their spots. 55. 57. Forty. He needs the lot. Forty-four. Forty-nine. The brilliance of Jimmy White. This black 55. then to pinch the frame and four frames to nil lead. So, Jimmy White going there. And uh, they have a little interval now, remember? It's the best of nine, the first of five. So, uh, Jimmy White leading four frames to nil. Let's see how it fits into the draw here in the Grand Prix. There it is. And the winner will play Mark Johnson Allen, who had a very good win here yesterday over Elaine Robidoux, the top Canadian, 5-1. And also another Canadian playing uh, today, Cliff Thorburn. He, in fact, plays tonight against John Parrott down at the bottom. And the winner of that plays Alan McManus. The other part of the draw, we'll have a look at. I mean, it's the part, of course, where Tony Chappell is already through, the man who knocked out Stephen Hendry even before the television cameras were here. That was on Thursday night, the big surprise. And Tony Chappell plays either Martin Clark or Mark Bennett. And it's the half of the draw where Steve Davis got through last night against David Rowe. He plays either Darren Morgan or Peter Ebden. That match is, uh, in fact, today as well. We'll be seeing that one, of course. And uh, as you can see, and as I told you earlier, Terry Griffiths is playing Mike Hallett here this afternoon. And Terry Griffiths took the opening frame in 24 minutes minutes 56 to 36. For the golfing fans, the golf from St Andrews, frost ridden up there, coming up at a quarter past three, but we can have a look at the Terry Griffiths-Mike Hallett match now. It's the second frame, Terry Griffiths leading 1-0, about to break off with this one. To the match between Jimmy White and Cliff Wilson, what entertainment it's been so far on this Sunday afternoon. Jimmy taking the first four, just look at the breaks here, he's knocked in 73, 41, 101, that's only the second century of the Rothmans Grand Prix this year, in the televised stages, and 59. So out he comes, another uh, live seat here, at the hexagon, he needs one more to beat Cliff Wilson. Wilson's been entertaining as well, let's face it, he's uh, a great man. Give me white to break. So here we go then, what could be the final frame, we shall see. So sit back and enjoy it with us, and uh, here's Ted. Yes, thank you, David. Oh, we're very nearly enough there. David said Jimmy just wants one frame now. So is this match to last another ten minutes? Or will Cliff Wilson make a comeback? One. Six. Seven. Just measuring their... Uh... Laurie Allen, our referee, was measuring to see 13. if the pink would spot. In fact, uh, there was sufficient room for it to go. Fourteen. Well, Cliff not able to get for the blue to the middle, so this is a little more difficult. Not for Cliff. He would love to be able to uh, knock a red in and get onto the black and bring it into play, but it's not easy at the moment. 20. Might be now, Ray. It should be, Ted. Great shot, that. Played 
Absolutely dead white. He's gone a trifle too seven. far, I think, this time. Yes, this is the time, Ted, you know, when most players look at it and think, well, I've got 27-point lead. I don't want to play anything uh, too spectacular. But Cliff will have a go at a pot again. But this time he did. 27, Cliff Olsen. Take the cue ball away to the safe area. That important piece of chalk on the tip of the cue. Seven. Just looking at the two reds, between pink and black there, <laughs> the plant was not on, he tried to make it. I think, Ray, uh, Cliff's ambitions on that last plant might have cost him this frame and the match. Yes, Ted, I could never believe that it was the right shot to play. The only time it 16. would have been right is if he'd have got it, and it was extremely long odds against that. The main part of the shot should have been to get the cue ball 17. down behind the brown and the green. However, Jimmy White was quite happy to see it. Well, you hear Jimmy's sigh there. Horrible contact on the cue ball, which took all the pace out of it. He's now twixt and between. Would want to be straight for the pink to the middle or straighter on the black. He may take the pink to the far corner. Thirteen. 
33, well, the pocket entrance from that angle is somewhat narrow. And, uh, well, Jimmy will be a little disappointed there. I think he was thinking he was on his way back to the dressing room. One. So Cliff is back in front again. Eight. Nine. Seventeen. He's got a problem now. The last three reds are all difficult. Oh, not such a good shot. Wanted to be behind that red to the right to the corner. Probably will attempt the double. 21. Still that big smile on his face. One. Yes, yeah, a big shot here, though, Ted. Sufficient angle here, I think, just to knock the black in and nudge the red out. Well, obviously not, so now a much more difficult shot on the red. Eight. Jimmy White. Well, Jimmy had a bash at that. Now there's seven points in it, Cliff, with a seven point lead. One. <laughs> There's a lot of tummy on that table now. <laughs> oh dear. Give me a hand up. Only in it. Twenty five points there. Twenty Cliff 
Needs green and brown. <laughs> I think he tried to get the green down King Street. <laughs> Jimmy was a mile away from that one, right? Yes, I think he's lost his concentration just a little at the moment. And having said that, it wasn't easy to uh, pot it and hold for the brown. Three. Awesome. So 14 points the difference. And what's Jimmy done here? Of this frame looks uh, fairly obvious as Cliff Wilson saves the match and wins his first frame. Cliff Wilson then getting his first frame of the match and providing the entertainment there with Jimmy White. But I don't think there's much doubt now that Jimmy eventually is going to get this uh, one frame he needs, get his place in the last 16 of uh, this year's Rothman's Grand Prix. And if he does go through, he'll play Mark Johnson Allen in that last 16. But tremendous entertainment here. We've been watching it live throughout this Sunday afternoon. I can just update you on the other match we're taking place today. That's Terry Griffiths and Mike Hallett. You saw uh, Terry Griffiths taking that very good second frame. Oh, they're in the third now. Mike Hallett, in fact, took the third. So Terry Griffiths leading Mike Hallett 2-1. A lot more snooker to come here today. Three more programmes. But now, eventually, for your golfers, the time has come. The golf delayed up at St Andrews. It's semi-finals and final day today. We're nice and cosy here in the hexagon. But I Eight. Well, the red behind the pink. Eleven. Easily on. Well, now he's still got the pink to the left middle and uh, an angle to disturb the three reds near the black, but the pot isn't easy. No, certainly not easy that way to get near the reds, but a great pot. 18. But you're now watching the serious Cliff Wilson. Safety this time. Eighteen. And he's eighteen points ahead. Touching ball.
Oh, I wonder if that's strong enough. Yes. Yes, it is, Ted, but it's done the one thing that Jimmy didn't want to do, leave Cliff a chance of a bud. One. Eight. Twenty-six points ahead now. Eight. Cliff Bolton. Yes, that was a lovely part. Seven. Eight. Sixteen. Wants well, a good shot now to knock the green in and get the white nicely onto the brown. Oh, wonderful Thank touch. You. Beautiful touches. Right to eight. An amazing red to start this. He now just wants this pink. That's it. A terrific performance. A great performance by Jimmy White to outclass Cliff Wilson and puts himself in the next round with victory at five frames to two. Jimmy White in the last 16, where he'll play Mark Johnson Allen, who knocked out the top Canadian, a name Robbie Do. One of the match to give you the result of, the one between Terry Griffiths and Mike Hallett, and Griffiths has come through by five frames to two. That's it for this afternoon. We have a big evening.